Today we are sublimating on a notebook cover and yes, it can be done and I'm gonna show you exactly how. Hi, I am Katie, the Crafty Blog Stalker and if you're new to my videos, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. The first thing that we're going to need is a sublimation print. Now I have a sublimation printer and if you want more information on that, I'll link to that video. And here is a design that I printed on my sublimation printer. I will have this design available for you to download for free. It won't have my name in the middle. It will be blank, so you can put whatever name in the middle you would like. But this is my sublimation print. You could also use infusible ink or other sublimation prints from other companies, but this is what we're going to be working with today. The trick to sublimating on a notebook is to use a glitter covered notebook like the one I've got here. And it's just a simple lined notebook. And you want to use glitter because glitter is actually polyester, which means that it will allow this sublimation ink to set into that glitter. I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer. And the first thing I want to do is trim my print down. So I'm just gonna trim it all the way around. I'm gonna bring in my heat tape. I've got my notebook. And now I'm just gonna center that where I want it on my notebook. Now I need to be careful since this is a plastic binding on my notebook. I don't want my heat press to have to get too close to that plastic because it will melt it. So I need to be conscious of that. Okay, so now I'm gonna tape it in place. I'm gonna bring in my heat press. I'm gonna turn it on and I want the temperature to be 400. And we are going to do the time of 60 seconds. So now we just need to wait and let this heat up. My heat press is at 400 degrees, so I'm ready to get started. Now I do want to point out while I was waiting for this to heat up, I had put my my sublimation print on upside down so my name was upside down so you want to make sure that you put your print onto your notebook facing the right direction i have fixed it and you want a piece of butcher paper and i'm just going to use a piece of copy paper just to help absorb any of that extra sublimation ink and now I'm gonna apply the heat. I'm gonna be mindful of that plastic binding there. And we're gonna start. And I'm just gonna give it some light pressure. All right, so now we can remove that extra sheet and take off our sublimation print. Ah! And look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh. I love that so much, especially with the sparkle. I do recommend sublimating on either silver glitter or white glitter notebooks because sublimation doesn't print white and it also kind of takes on the color of the background. So it's harder to get full color if you're using a colored glitter notebook. Not, I just love it, it's so cute. Thank you for joining me today. Make sure to visit my home base at thecraftyblogstucker.com where I have a ton of free tutorials to share with you. Thanks everybody. Bye and happy crafting.